Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I painted the Tarantulas Brood Spider Swarms to a quick tabletop ready standard. I'll be using the model in the centre here as the example for this video, but as I'm painting this one, I am painting all three at the same time. This makes it a lot quicker doing it in batches like this. But in this video, I'll be going through exactly how I did it and showing you how to get this ready if with some nice quick and easy techniques to a tabletop ready standard. I've also painted the Broodmaster from the Tarantulas Brood and the Doomweaver as well. And using the techniques from those videos, you'll be able to paint all the members of the warband. I'll put a list of all the paints used in this video in the description below and also some links so that you can save up to 20% on the retail price. The brushes I'll mostly be using are the Citadel Starter Brush and the Medium Shade Brush as well. And so here's the model all primed and for this I use the Citadel Colour Wraithbone Contrast Undercoat Spray and this is perfect for the contrast painting method. Right, let's get started and the first paint is the Contrast Basilicanum Grey and for this I took an old big brush and I'm just going to give one thick coat of this contrast paint all over the base. And if you'd like to see how the base is done, I've done lots of videos of that on the channel too. Next is Contrast Skeleton Horde, and I'm just going to use this for the skull that you can see on the base here. And so give that quite a generous coat, this dries quite thin, so you can put quite a lot of this on and you certainly want to get it into those recesses. Then we're on to the Contrast Black Templar. And then all I'm going to do here is just give a nice even coat all over these tiny spiders and the large one as well. With the small ones just be extra careful as you're going close to that base. But this is really easy, we're just going to use one coat and that's all that's needed for all three of the spiders that you can see. Once that's completely coated, we're going to let this dry thoroughly before moving on to the next stage. And then I'm going to take some Sky Grey by Vallejo. 0.989, my very vegan makeup brush. This has got some great soft bristles and it's also got a little point to it, which is really handy for dry brushing on the base. So I'm working that into the bristles and take as much paint as I can off onto some kitchen towel and then gently dry brush over, bringing out all the texture of the base and all those raised areas. And that's just gonna bring that to life a little bit. The next paint is a layer paint called Troll Slayer Orange. And now that black is completely dry, I'm going to pick out some of the details on the spider. So it's got like a beak here, so I'm just going to paint that in with the orange and then I give it two coats. So I found that over that black, we just needed two coats. Then we're going to use this on the legs as well. So I just use the side of my brush and go along that raised area of each leg and then just use the tip of the brush to brush down in little strokes to give an idea, almost like it's a bit hairy. So that's what I'm trying to sell here. So just little simple strokes coming down from that point and then do that on each side of the leg. So once you've got the very like edge of the leg done, then do this little stage all along and do that on all eight of the legs. Then I'm also gonna go in and do a bit more around the face here, just needed a little bit more. So I've been careful not to go over the eyes. I'm just going around the eyes and then all over that little face. And then that's just gonna give it a little bit more character and really bring it to life. For the smaller spiders, I'm doing the same thing, but just really just going on those very raised areas of the legs. And I'm just gonna catch those and then a few lines down the center, not being super neat here, but just to sell the idea that they all belong together. And then you can see on the other spider swarms, they're all very small. So just using that side of my brush to catch the edges. Then I take some base Avalon Sunset. Once that orange is dried, I'm just gonna go over and do a thin line down the center of the leg. This is gonna act as like, almost like a highlight. I'm not using it for its color here. It's like a mustardy yellow, which is gonna be a nice highlight for that orange. And then I'm just gonna, again, if you find it easier, just use the side of your brush and run it down. We're only looking to do the raised edges here. So take your time, just go all the way around, catching all those legs. I'll put a little bit on the beak as well and a little bit on these front pincers. For the spider, but we do need to do the base. So I took some Abaddon Black. I'll just show you how I paint the bases. And I'll use the Doom Weaver as an example. So I pop some blue tack on my brush and then that holds it as a nice little turntable. And I generally do two coats of this all the way around. And that really helps just to spin it so you can keep your brush nice and steady. 
And that's all there is to it. A really nice, simple, quick and easy technique to get these painted up. And these are fantastic in Warcry. Their fighter card stats are amazing, so definitely check them out. And I think a lot of people will be including them in their Tarantulas Brood warband. But great fun to paint, really quick and easy to get on the tabletop. And I really had fun doing all the models from the set and the terrain as well. Some great terrain. But they look good and I think really happy for the effort put in what we got back from it. I'm really pleased with these. And then if you compare them to some of the other members, you can see the bases all work together. We've got the same style going on there. So that really ties them all in as one complete warband. And if you want to see some of the other videos that I've painted, you can see we've got the Doom Weaver here. This guy come out with just contrast paints pretty much and a little bit of dry brushing. I was really happy with the effect and the brightness or the vibrancy of these contrast paints really came through. And here is the Broodmaster. Really happy with this guy as well, especially that. That's just one coat of purple on the back. And that's where the contrast paint really works well and does what it says on the tin. So there we go. There's all the different models for the Tarantulas Brood painted with contrast paints, a little bit of dry brushing. But you can also find some videos on the channel for the Dark Oath Slaughterborn and the rest of the Dark Oath Savages. It's just another picture of them all lined up together. I think they look great together. That orange works really nicely against that nice turquoisey colour and the purples. So yeah, check those videos out if you want to see how I painted the Broodmaster and the Doomweaver. And then those techniques can be applied to the rest of the Tarantulas Brood. I'll put a list of all the paints used in this video in the description below. And affiliate links so you can save up to 20% on all the products that were featured. And if you want to see how to paint the terrain from Red Harvest, I've done a video for that. And also an unboxing if you haven't picked it up already. And so I'll put some links in the description that will take you to Wayland Games and Element Games where you can save 20% on Red Harvest. Now at the moment, Element Games has got an amazing offer on. £97.50 will get you this set. You're going to save 25% and it's a brilliant set. I don't think you can go wrong for £97.50 for what's included. Fantastic terrain, great miniatures, the rule book, and everything you need to play in that one box. Can't recommend it enough. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gave you an idea of how quick and easy it is to get some tabletop ready models painted using contrast paints. But I'd love to know what you think about this. So let me know in the comment section below. It'd be awesome to hear your feedback. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.